Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with another farming guide. This is an ingot farming guide where I'll show you how to get carbon, nickel, and tungsten ingots in the same run by visiting three different high points in three different territories. So we're starting here in Grantabridgeshire at the Black Peak high point. I need your eyes, my friend. First step is to find the patrol using the raven and there it is they're usually on this main road and not only is there one but two patrols carrying carbon right next to each other and in each of the three high points there are typically two patrols so you're actually going to get two carbon two nickel and two tungsten ingots so six ingots per run which is pretty awesome. Now they're not always exactly in that spot. They're sometimes along the road to the right, heading towards the port that's marked by an anchor there near the water. So they won't always be in this same spot. So you'll have to just look along the road. I find it's easier to see at night. So you might want to try meditating to make it dark if you're having trouble spotting the patrols, the gold stars show up a little bit better at night, I think. So I am going to steal the wealth here rather than kill the guards. I'm going to use the blinding rush ability and then steal instead of assassinate. So on Xbox, that's the X button instead of the right bumper. And there it is the first carbon ingot and now I'm going to go steal the second one from the front patrol and steal yes all right so I got both ingots without triggering combat I'm just doing that to make it faster for the video but you don't have to you can kill the guards in fact if you're trying to get XP you probably should assassinate the enemies so now we're heading to the second high point in Oxenfordshire. This is the Therelia Ruins. And if you only want to get the carbon ingot, if you just want to get one or two ingots, that's totally cool. You can do all three high points or one or two. But make sure before you go back to the beginning, you save your game and then reload to reset the patrol spawn. Oh, and here are the two patrols carrying nickel. This time they're walking towards each other instead of one behind each other. And again, the patrol won't always be in this exact same spot. It could be anywhere along the road. And if you're having trouble spotting it, As I said, try meditating so it's dark out, or maybe it somehow didn't spawn and you might need to fast travel out of the region, save and reload your game, and then come back and try again. So I'm going to kill these enemies this time so I can build my adrenaline back up because the blinding rush ability uses adrenaline. Cool, first nickel ingot. Parry and attack. Oh, and throw weapon. Oh, I love that. That's the battleground bolt skill that's in the wolf skill tree. The battleground, battleground bolt skill lets you pick up weapons on the battlefield that your enemies have dropped and throw them at enemies to deal damage. So here's the second patrol carrying nickel. I'm going to go directly towards the wealth carrier so I don't lose track of him and also because sometimes they run away. And if that happens, you can just use your bow and arrow to shoot them. And again, I don't have to kill these enemies, but I'm just doing it so I can get out of combat, which will let me fast travel to my third high point. And that archer is the last one I need to kill. There we go. 
cool. So now we've been to two high points, gotten four ingots, and now the last two are going to be tungsten ingots in Hamptonshire. We're going to the high point northeast of Winchester. This is the same high point I used in my tungsten farm video. Be sure to check out my other videos. I'll link the playlist in the description. And also subscribe to my channel to get more tips and tricks like this that you won't find anyplace else. So now in Hamptonshire, we're looking for the patrols, checking the roads. Oh, there's the first one. Let's mark that one. It looks like there's only one there, so there might be another one along the road. Here, you need to also check kind of behind the high point. Oh, and there it is. Yeah, oftentimes they're kind of along the road behind the high point. So there's the second patrol. Let's mark that one. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a Goliath, a uh, big enemy escorting this wealth carrier. So here in Hamptonshire, if possible, I always try to steal the ingots instead of engaging the enemies because it takes a while to kill them all. Unless, of course, you're trying to get XP and level up, then you do want to kill the enemies using stealth kill assassinations, if possible, because the assassinations give you more XP than non-stealth kills. Okay, so let me see if I can steal the tungsten blinding rush and then steal. Yes. I also did a whole video on the blinding rush ability. If you want to check that out, you can also use it to stop time and grab tattoos before they fly away. It's one of my favorite melee abilities. Here is the second patrol carrying tungsten. Let me sneak up from behind them. Steal. Yes. All right, so that is our sixth and final ingot in this run. But before we go back and start again, as I said, I recommend that you save your game and then reload the save you just made. Because that seems to help reset the spawn on the patrols. So whether you're doing three, two, or even one high point in this run, save and reload before you go back to Granover Shire. And if you're just doing Granover Shire, I recommend you fast travel to another high point in a different region, save and reload, and then come back to Black Peak. So I don't know if this is a glitch. It seems sort of strange that there's two patrols carrying wealth right near each other, but maybe that's how it's intended to work. So I don't know if this is intentional or if it's a glitch that there's double patrols in some regions. But if it does stop working, I will put a note in the title so you'll know. But as of now, it seems to be really consistent. So now we're back at the beginning at Black Peak in Granobridge Shire. So let's just check that the two patrols have respawned before I end the video. So I'm checking the main road. Now looking on the sides. Oh, and there they are heading towards that fort up ahead. So it looks like there's one star, but there's actually two stars really close to each other. I'll try to mark them both with my raven. And those two patrols, when they get to the fort, they're gonna turn around and come back towards you, back towards the high point. So I recommend that you don't try to engage them when they're really close to that fort, because if you do, you can draw the attention of the guards in the fort and they'll sound the alarm and then all the enemies in the fort will come out and try to fight you. So. I recommend that you wait until the patrols uh, turn around and head back towards the high point before you try to 
take the ingot. And that is my last tip for you. Subscribe to my channel for more videos with tips like this one and more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is Amber. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and I will see you in the next one.